Hey, welcome back to the channel guys. Hope everyone's doing well out there. So as you can see here, we have the Xeno Mini Pro, which we'll be looking at today. But before anything, I'd like to start it off with a quick prayer, if you don't mind. Father in heaven, I uh, want to thank you mercifully for restoring my soul within me and for allowing me to live yet another precious day. Lord, I also want to pray for everyone who is watching this and hearing these words, that no matter what situations they're going through in their lives right now in these times, I hope with all of my heart that they may consider you and come to you directly for your teaching and your guidance so that you may bless them and uh, give them your wisdom and understanding in all truth, especially during the difficult times and uh, heal those who are suffering from disease and comfort those who have lost a loved one. May you bless them and keep them. May you shine your face upon them and be gracious to them. May you turn your face towards them and give them your peace. In the name of your son, Yeshua, let it be done. All right, so today we'll be looking at Hubson's new Xeno Mini Pro. Now I know that several people out there have a lot to say on this drone. But as for me, I'm just going to be riding through the process from my own personal experience with it um, as I take it through some of its paces in the coming days ahead. And uh, hopefully you guys can judge for yourselves whether it's for you or not. All right, so let's start off with the unboxing. Now I removed the plastic covering already, so, you know, just to save us some time here. But as you can see, this is the original box that it comes with. And this is the travel bag that comes inside of it. And inside of the bag you have the drone, a USB wall plug adapter, an extra battery. I opted for the two battery option, the instructions manual, a bag with uh, three OTG cables, a long mini USB data transfer cable, a smaller USB charging cable, two extra thumb rocker replacements, the battery charging hub, two sets of extra props, one mini screwdriver, and the remote controller. The drone does come with a removable plastic gimbal cover and a uh, protective guard on the bottom. So let's uh, put it on the scale to see how much it weighs uh, without the gimbal cover and the bottom guard. The camera itself has a 1 over 1.3 inch OV48C image sensor uh, with a fixed aperture or f-stop of 1.85 which uh, should be able to produce very good images in low light settings being that it uh, allows more light to be introduced into the sensor. It can shoot video in 4K at 30 frames per second. 2.7K at 30 and 60 frames per second, and 1080p HD at 30, 60, and 90 frames per second. The uh, videos themselves are saved in the new H.265 codec, which will require uh, a media player uh, like VLC that can play back these files. Uh, many of the older systems can only handle playback of the H.264 codec, so you want to keep this in mind. The camera is also capable of shooting pictures in both JPEG and RAW formats. There's also a few settings for photo and video that can be adjusted manually in the app, like the ISO, shutter speed, video bit rate, white balance, and others. There's also cool photo modes like time-lapse photography, panoramic and uh, hyperlapse which is included in the smart mode menu. You do get an active track feature as you can see here uh, but in my personal opinion I think that it needs more uh, improvement as it doesn't work all the time.
the most talked about feature that the Xeno Mini Pro has is its optical avoidance sensors. It has two on the front, two on the back, and one on the bottom. To activate or deactivate them, you simply just press a button uh, in the app. I also observed that the quad does come to a halt at a very close proximity when it detects an, uh, an obstacle. Um, too close in my opinion. I think that uh, it would definitely benefit to have a setting in the app where one can adjust the detection distance on the obstacle avoidance. Also you have to calibrate the sensors using Hubson software which you would have to download onto your computer uh, but it's currently only available for Microsoft Windows 10. So if you have a Mac OS like me, you won't be able to do these calibrations. But I was told that they're currently working on a software version for Mac. So we'll just have to wait for that. The camera's gimbal has a three axis stabilizer, which is supposed to give you smooth and steady video. And with the recent firmware upgrades, Hubson has been able to further improve uh, the gimbal's performance. motors are 1503 KV2820 brushless motors that are capable of resisting winds at the category level 5, which is between 8.5 to 10.5 meters per second. As for uh, speed performance, it can reach speeds of up to 10 meters per second in normal mode and a maximum of 16 meters per second when in sports mode. On the bottom you have this heatsink that's made from a magnesium aluminum alloy and is designed to dissipate the heat that the obstacle avoidance sensors and other inner components produce during operation. There's a CPU monitor in the app that allows you to check the heat temperature in case it gets too hot. Now if you're just hovering in the air for a long time without doing anything and you have the obstacle avoidance sensors activated, the CPU temperature will rise for sure. And if it gets to 87 degrees Celsius or higher, it will automatically turn off the obstacle avoidance, uh, video recording, and night light features. So keep that in mind when flying it. It also has uh, two infrared sensors and what they call a fill light or search light, uh, which is basically to help you see your landing position at night. And this can also be turned on or off in the app. The battery is stated to give you around 41 minutes of flight time but in reality, it would be more around, I don't know, uh, 34 minutes or so. Now these are intelligent batteries, which means that they can tell you how much power is left in the battery, and they can also discharge themselves uh, when not in use after a certain amount of time. The remote is the same size as the original Xeno, uh, but does weigh more. On the front, it has an LCD screen for reading the telemetry. On the bottom is the takeoff and landing button, the on and off button, and the FNS button, which is to switch flight modes. And it stands for film, normal, and sport. As you can see, the antennas are flat and different than the ones that the original Xeno remote had. Now these are said to give a maximum transmission range of 10 kilometers using uh, Hubson's new Syncless uh, 3.0, which is basically their own version of uh, AccuSync. The working bandwidth is between 5.7 to 5.8 gigahertz frequency uh, with a maximum video bitrate of uh, 40 megabits per second. And over here you have the photo button, the gimbal wheel, the video record button, and the FN button, which is for customizing commands. It also works as the uh, zoom function by holding down on it and scrolling left to right on the gimbal wheel to zoom in and out. The battery charging hub can hold and charge up to four batteries. Once uh, one battery is fully charged, the green indicator light 
will turn off and it will then move on to charging the next one. To connect the remote and the drone, make sure that you have the OTG cable connected to the remote and to your phone. Now turn on the remote by clicking once and then clicking a second time, leaving it pressed down for two to three seconds. Now open the X Hubson uh, 2 app and once the status bar reads aircraft is connected and the remote icon appears in the app, it means that the remote is uh, fully connected. Now turn on the drone and wait for it to go through its startup process. Then put the remote next to it and uh, wait until it syncs with the remote. Now you won't get an FPV feed out of it until you're in the air so once you're in the air, then the FPV feed uh, will be turned on automatically. Anyway, thanks again for watching the video. If you did enjoy it or found anything useful from it, please feel free to hit the uh, like button. And you can also subscribe to the channel as well. Just remember to activate that notification bell on the side if you do. Alright, God bless you all, and I'll see you on the next one.